Hi, have you been studying at home while you are alone? If there is no tutor next to you, can you make for my class web your best choice because it keeps on updating or uploading new digital content that are helping the learners to update themselves with what has been learned and any new materials that they want to run is also available on this channel. Thank you very much. This was question number four that was tested again in the KCP for the year 2019 and it was about um, that stage of HIV and AIDS infection. If you can remember what you, were, uh, what you learned in class five, most of it is what was required here. You'll find that HIV and AIDS infection normally goes at the four stages, starting with the widow stage, then you go to the incubation stage, you go to symptomatic stage, and finally the fourth stage, which is full blown. I want to take a brief account on these stages and how they, they, they affect the infected person. Now, if you look at the first stage, which we call the widow stage, this stage uh, lasts between four and six weeks after the person is infected. Now, during this time, the body is trying to fight the HIV. Now, if a medical test is done on the infected person, it may not discover the presence of HIV in the blood. This statement here has been underlined. It states, it may not, the test will not show any presence of HIV in the blood. This stage is very dangerous because no one will be able to tell whether this person is infected or not. Now, at this stage, the infected person looks very normal unhealthy but he or she can still infect other people with the virus take care you'll not be able to tell whether the person is infected or not this is a very dangerous stage now let us look at the second stage that we call the incubation stage now the incubation stage is also known as asymptomatic stage this stage uh, lasts between six weeks and 12 years after the person has been infected. It lasts a shorter time in children because the ability of their bodies to fight diseases has not fully developed. Now, most HIV-infected children die within two years. Now, during this stage, the HIV is inside the body of the patient, but no sign of the disease are visible to other people. Again, this statement has been underlined. No visible uh, signs can be seen by other people. Now, at the incubation stage, an infected person still looks healthy and a medical test on the infected person will now discover the presence of HIV in the blood. Unlike this first case here, the widow stage, whereby no test will show anything, no signs can be seen. In the second stage, that is the incubation stage, any test that is being done, that is the ELISA test, uh, the virus can be detected. But other visible uh, signs will not show. Now, looking at the third stage, which we call symptom, uh, symptoms or showing stage, or rather the symptomatic stage. Uh, during this stage, the signs and the symptoms of AIDS start showing. Such symptoms will include, one, loss of much of the body weight within a short period. There is also frequent emptying of the bowel. This is also called diarrhea. One uh, experiences a learning stomach that lasts a long time. There is also uh, this other symptom, that is fever, that can last a long time. There is also persistent cough. Now, the skin diseases such as lashes and sores will also start showing. There is also sores in the mouth, which makes it difficult for the patient to swallow food. Now, the other uh, sign is that other diseases like uh, tuberculosis and pneumonia will start uh, showing in the body. Remember, tuberculosis and pneumonia are what we call the opportunistic diseases that are the ones that actually make the person to die. Note that 
AIDS is not the one that kills the patient, but these opportunistic diseases. Now, a person who has these uh, symptoms and signs is said to have developed AIDS. It should, however, be noted that a person with these symptoms may not necessarily be uh, infected with HIV. Only a medical test can confirm that a person is infected with HIV. It is always uh, recommended that you test or you go for HIV and AIDS testing so that you know your status. Now, if you look at stage uh, 4, which is called full-blown stage, this is the last stage and the patient body is very weak and cannot fight other diseases in uh, rather invading the body most patient dies after a short time i want to say this nowadays we've got uh, advanced technology in medicine and we have got medicine that ha that have come up uh, that people are using and once these uh, people take this medicine you are likely not to see these signs and symptoms actually these uh, drugs are called retrovirus so although we are analyzing this question this may only be uh, available or may show to those people who are not using these uh, retrovirus. Otherwise, if you use them, you are likely to remain healthy up to the end. So, if you go back now to the question, the third stage for that, uh, rather the answer for that question is symptom matic because it is the third stage and the statement here is saying that it is symptomatic stage thank you very much and continue subscribing to this channel to get more and more materials that will be uploaded from time to time goodbye